Autopoesis is an artificial life robotic sculpture series commissioned by the Chiasma Museum in Helsinki, Finland. It consists of 15 musical and robotic sculptures that interact with the public and modify their behaviors based on both the presence of the participants in the exhibition and the communication between each separate sculpture. This series of robotic sculptures talk with each other through a hardwired network and audible telephone tones, which are a musical language for the group. The interactivity engages the viewer participant, who in turn affects the system's evolution and emergence. This creates a system evolution as well as an overall group sculptural aesthetic. Autopoiesis utilizes a number of unique approaches to create this complex and evolving environment. It uses smart sensor organization that senses the presence of the viewer participant and allows the robotic sculpture to respond intelligently. By organizing the sensors in this way, I have minimized the number of sensors while maximizing the ability of the software to cope with this data. For example, at the top of each sculptural element or arm, four passive infrared sensors face south, north, east, and west. When two sensors are triggered, the program knows that someone is located in, for instance, the southeast corner, and this is the direction the sculpture moves to. Four sensors allow eight quadrants of sensing. These passive infrared sensors tell each arm to move in the direction of the viewer, while the active infrared sensor located at the tip stops the arm as it arrives within inches of the viewer. This allows the sculpture to display both attraction and repulsion behaviors. Furthermore, in autopoiesis, the robotic sensors compare their sensor data through a central state controller, so the viewer is able to walk through the sculptural installation and have the arms interact both individually and as a group. Because each arm has its own onboard computer control, the overall speed of reaction is rapid and therefore lifelike. Local control always supersedes group control when a local sensor is aware of a human nearby. At the tip of two of the arms, lipstick cameras project what they see onto the walls of the space. This gives the viewer participant a sense of being observed by this artificial life robotic sculpture. The sculptures also communicate using bit strings as information, and they exchange this data serially, interconnecting all sculptures. Each sculpture also generates bit strings of information as algorithms, which affect the overall group behaviors. When, for instance, there are large crowds of people in the installation, the group behaviors tend to be far less vigorous. When there's fewer people and each arm is getting less data, then the overall group behavior is far more vigorous. Additionally, the tones are a musical language that allows individual robotic sculptures to communicate and give the viewer a sense of the emotional state of the sculptural elements as they interact. Higher and more rapid tones are associated with fear and the lower, more deliberate tonal sequences with relaxation and play. Other tones give the impression of the sculptures whistling to themselves. The telephone tones are a consistent language of intercommunication and manifest a sense of overall group robot consciousness, where what is said by one affects what is said by others. Autopoiesis continually evolves its own behaviors in response to the unique environment and viewer-participant inputs. This group consciousness of sculptural robots manifests a cybernetic ballet of experience with the computer machine and viewer-participant involved in a grand dance of one sensing and responding to the other.